Okay, Google. What is the square root of 10,203? Square root 10,203 is 101.01. Okay, Google. Who is married to Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck's spouse is Jennifer Garner since 2005. Okay, Google. How old is Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan is 51 years old. Okay, Google. What time is it in Tokyo, Japan? The time in Tokyo, Japan is 12.16 a.m. Okay, Google. How far is it from Medford, New Jersey to Paris, France? The distance from Medford and Jade to Paris is 3,693 miles. Okay, Google. How are the New York Yankees doing this year? The Yankees are third in the Al East standings. Okay, Google. What is your favorite color? It's hard to pick just one. Google has become the place the world goes to for answers. Ask anything, from where to buy shrimp-flavored ice cream, to what the Queen of England's shoe size is, and Google hopes to deliver results that will satisfy the user's appetite in less than a second. Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. In other words, Google wants you and I to see them as the go-to source for any question our inquisitive little minds might be able to conjure up. If we need answers now, Google hopes we see their collection of organized data as trustworthy and reliable. And let's be honest, Google offers a great service and one that has changed the way we do life. I use Google all day long, but the unfortunate truth is that for many, we've come to expect the same kind of instant knowledge and understanding and cooperation in our relationships with people in our lives. And when we don't get it, we're quick to jump ship and move on to something that offers quicker gratification. Christopher Muther, an author for the Boston Globe writes, we've come to expect things so quickly that researchers found people can't wait more than a few seconds for a video to load. Ramesh Sitaraman, a computer science professor at UMass Amherst, examined the viewing habits of 6.7 million internet users in a study released last fall. How long were subjects willing to be patient? Two seconds. After that, they started abandoning, Sitaraman said. After five seconds, the abandonment rate is 25%. When you get to 10 seconds, half are gone. The results offer a glimpse into the future, he says. As internet speeds increase, people will be even less willing to wait for that cute puppy video. It shouldn't come as a real shocker that our modern American culture has become accustomed to getting our questions answered the moment we think them. A message sent to a loved one which once took weeks or even months to be delivered now happens almost instantaneously. It's a regular thing for me, even to get frustrated with someone who waits a few hours before responding to my text message or my email. God forbid they should wait to respond till the next day. I think it's safe to say that our need for instant gratification is making us perpetually impatient. Not only does this need destroy relationships with other people, but it can have the same result in our relationship with God. If God doesn't answer as quickly as Google, then we start to think either he doesn't care He's not capable, or he just won't. And so people's trust in God begins to fade to the background, while trust in Google moves to the lead. God's desire for each of us is that we look to him for the answers to the questions in our lives, big and small. He made us to learn in the stillness and to grow in wisdom through waiting. 
Impatience leads to sin, and sin always leads to pain. In Micah chapter 7, you can read about it for yourself. While everyone else around him had fallen into sin and were suffering because of their inability to wait on the Lord, Micah had learned that waiting on God led to real and lasting gratification. While others mocked him and thought he was a fool for trusting in the Lord, Micah stood firm. He learned that God perfects us through patience. I like working with Google, and it's likely that I'll continue to use their services as long as they're around. After all, when it comes to the most important question that man could ever ask, Google seems to know the truth. Okay, Google, who is God? According to In Touch Ministries, in the Bible, John 3.16 says, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. These three persons, though it's difficult for us to understand, they are one God. Jesus Christ is God's Son, and he is also God.